Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, just a quick video. I'm just super excited about the uh, about the announcement for the Google Pixel 6a. Uh, this is probably a dream come true, so I'm really excited about it. So I'm just gonna do like a quick uh, breakdown of the Pixel 6a. Uh, going into the Google website, uh, it's coming in three different colors: and sage, uh, chalk, and you know standard black, uh, black and white, of course, and sage. It reminds me of the color from the Pixel 5, which I which I did admire, but. With the glass back could be a little bit different. I'd rather prefer like some kind of plastic feel, to, plastic feel to it or matte finish to it. But that's one color. I don't know. I'm so, I'm torn between the black or the sage color. So after time will tell if I if I, I do like them. But I'm definitely gonna check in the store at Best Buy or wherever who's gonna have them in stock before the launch. I'll get a hands on to it. And as you go to the Google website, it does have their little uh, talking their talking points powered by that. Google Tensor, battery life, photography, and everything else. And this what what makes the Pixel 6a so uh, eye appealing to me at least is that it has the uh, Tensor chip, so it's the same chip as the Pixel 6 and the Pro, which is like to, which is on paper um, on par or a little slightly below or on par with the um, with the newer Snapdragon Gen 1 chips, like on the 20 on the, on the Galaxy S22. So I'm really happy about that. I know the Pixel. 5, I love the Pixel Five. It's just that the the processor. I think the seven thirty five was not the uh, fastest, and I'm just worried about long longevity. Because I plan to. I'm looking for the next phone that I want to keep for the next at least one or two years, and the the weak process from the gate gets really concerning for me too. Which I plan to you know, which I plan to keep the phone for a long time. So I wasn't happy about that. That was probably the only thing holding the Pixel Five back was just the processor. <laughs> Uh, according to rumors, uh, Google wanted to add the Tensor chip for the Pixel 5, but for whatever reason, the Tensor chip was not ready, so they just quickly threw in the 735, which makes sense. And just more, uh, just more uh, about their talking points about security and everything else, photography, and so forth. And of course, the price is just on the sweet spot; it's the same price as the Pixel A5, the Pixel 5 uh 5a 5g which is good and the one, one thing i'm really uh, excited about is the smaller size the smallest the pixel 6 which is the smallest of the two original phones came in 6.4 which i'm using right now in the film but that thing was so huge compared to the 61.1 for the 6a so it's somewhere in the middle between the the pixel 5 and the pixel 6 so i'm leaning towards closer to the pixel 5 which i do love the uh, which I do love the um, compact design of it, so I'm really excited about that. So it has a tensor chip, a smaller design, footprint than the Pixel 6. Uh, the design for the Pixel 6, uh, I'm like, I say, I'm leaning towards yes or no. I'm teetering both. Some days I like it, some days I don't. Uh, I prefer the style of the Pixel, uh, actual Pixel 3, the Pixel 3 and the 3A. I do like the glass finish back here too, and the glass design. I don't know, this just screams Pixel to me. When I see the Pixel 6 and 7, it just looks so different. Even though it's the same brand, but just different look to it. It just, you know, the iPhones have their certain look to it. Uh, Pixel should somewhat stick to it, but hey, it is what it is. So, of course, it's a 1080p screen, no brainer right there, up to 60 hertz. So, it doesn't have 90 hertz like on the Pixel 6 or the 120 on the Pro. I'm fine with that. I know some people are complaining about it. I usually turn the right on the Pixel 6 when I was using it. I turn off uh, 120. I just just I disable 60 hertz and down to 90 hertz. So for me, it's just a battery thing. I just want to squeeze out as much battery left on the Pixel 6, which is already good to begin with. Um, also, six gigs of RAM versus eight on the six. Um, I don't know. I don't usually push my phones too hard. I just use watch YouTube, scroll through Twitter, social media, Reddit, uh, a few applications for bank, personal matters. But I play no games at all. So I think the extra gigs will play a big part if you try to do multitasking. But from what I'm coming from, I'm not gonna do much. I'm actually trying to stay away from phones to limit my usage on it. Uh, I'll probably talk about a separate video about my phone, my smartphone addiction in the past. But yeah. The gigs are capped at 128. For me, it's it's good. I never use it. I backed up all my photos to Google Photos or Drive and and keep it moving. Delete stuff off the phone to make room for the other stuff. 
And I don't know why the the Pixel the Pixel uh, six A camera is very controversial. Um, the the cameras on the three and the uh, ne have never had the four. I had the five. It's the same camera system from the three and the five and the four. So I know from my from my experience from both phones, the features the pictures that came out of it was pretty legit and pretty good. So I'm not gonna complain about it. Of course, uh, Google has a has to reduce some reduce some specifications and everything else. So it just makes sense. The um the uh, camera system would be not the same on the 6. Of course, they put a lot of R&D behind the 6, so it wouldn't make sense to put on the 4A. They gotta find ways to cut costs, so that's one way. A smaller frame. Uh, no 90 hertz display, and the camera system's uh, a little as, as from the old gens, which I have no complaints about. Uh, of course, the Google the Google uh, Tensor's right there, of course. Um, looks like it comes with um, the same frame on the Pixel 6, which is good. Uh, of course, the Gorilla Glass is a bit different, stronger on the 6, a little weaker. 3 versus the Victus on the 6. Um, 3D thermal f from a compost back. Thermal fraud, thermal fraud compost back, so that's interesting. So it's probably going to be have a different feel to it, different look and feel to it. On the 6A, which I don't mind because I usually put a case on it, but every once in a while I take the case and just admire it. And the battery is not that much. Oh, it's only 44, uh, 10 milliamps versus 46.14 on the 6. So, yeah, that's one thing it is. But as you can see, the wireless charge is unavailable on the on the Pixel um, 6A, which is unfortunate. I believe none of the A, line, A series lines don't have the um, wireless uh, charging capabilities, so, which is a uh, which is a bummer. But I do like uh, I don't like to charge my things overnight, so I usually like to charge my phone just before bed and take it off. So every once in a while, I do have a wireless charging stand. I put my six on, let it charge. But I understand why people get mad about that. I would be too. Oh, interesting! So interesting part about the um, the fingerprint scanner. According to recent reports from I believe Phone Arena, they said that the fingerprint scanner. Would be it was still it's still an in-screen fingerprint scanner, but it's gonna be different from the six. So which could be good or bad, depend. We won't know for sure until we actually try out the units ourselves too. So, which is good for my for my personal experience. Of course, people are gonna have different experiences. The fingerprint scanner is not the reliable on the six. I, I swear I'm gonna sw switch from the fingerprint scanner and switch to pen only. It just gets so annoying. My finger, the phone does it like more than like. I'll say 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10, it does read my fingerprints, but when it doesn't, it just gets so frustrating when you try to log into your bank or pay for something like that. you got to take multiple tries, and you just put in the PIN code anyway. I just I just don't like that. I do prefer the old design of, like, the Pixel 3. No one complained about the, the old school fingerprint scanner right here, so... That's I wish what Google would just go back to that maybe on the next generation 6a Google would probably go back We're hoping Google goes back to the old-school fingerprint scan scanner if they put like the um the tensor ship in the um And this kind of frame or body. I, I would definitely buy one on the spot I do like the design of it if it has a tensor ship and the big battery. I definitely buy it Something Google can probably copy from the iPhone SE and so forth. So So I can't uh, I just can't wait for it to come in uh, it's a shame that we have to wait until July to basically two months from two months from the end of this month we have to wait so it's a very long time so I can't wait for it of course the price is 449 uh, you can always find us through Google or I'm I plan to get it through T-Mobile through my T-Mobile store and this is the phone for me and this is the phone I told myself this is the phone I'm going to keep for the next year or two years I probably get insurance on it because I like to get the battery swapped out before the warranty expires just in case, so I can stretch out a little bit more out of it, and I just can't wait for um, I just can't wait for this phone to come out. I mean, just for me to go to Best Buy to get my hands on and everything else. So, yeah, I can't wait for it. That's my video. Thanks, bye.